Hey guys, we're gonna be a sheet rock. Let's, Let's get, get started. started! Yay! You can see a full list of supplies that I used in this lesson in the description below. Step one, draw shamrocks. I'm going to use my green watercolor pencil and I'm drawing a fat heart above the middle of the paper. That's going to be the top of my shamrock. When you're drawing your heart, don't worry about it being perfect. You can always erase it with water and start over again. Just draw your heart the best you can. Now turn your paper and draw another heart right next to the first one. I drew two dots, one at the top and one at the bottom of my heart to guide me as I drew my heart. That's okay if you mess up, you can just erase it and try again. Remember that you want the sides of your leaves to meet. Okay, turn your paper again and draw another heart for the third leaf of your shamrock. I'm going to use those dots again to guide me. It's so nice that we can just erase those lines with water if we mess up. Now I'm going to turn my paper to the right direction and draw my stem. I draw my stem going a little bit to the left there and I let it get a little bit thicker at the bottom. Do you want to practice drawing some more shamrocks? Let's draw some little shamrocks. I'm going to draw one right here at the bottom, and then maybe a bigger one over here on the left at the bottom, and maybe a little one at the top on the left. Step 2, paint background. Now I'm going to give myself a little bit of blue paint. I'm using gouache paint. You can also pronounce it gouache, but you can use watercolor paint. That works too. Now, the difference between the two is that gouache paint is more um, opaque. And if you don't know what opaque means, that just means it's less translucent. That means it doesn't, it's not as see-through as watercolor paint. So you'll notice that it goes on very dark, and we just have a little brush. So what we're going to do is we're going to dip our paper towel in the water and spread it all around so that it's lighter. Now if you want it to be darker, that's fine, but we want it to be a little bit lighter. So we're just going to spread the paint around. The more you spread it, the lighter it gets. Don't worry about painting a little bit over your shamrock. It won't matter in the end. Ooh, I like your idea, Katie, of making the edges of your paper darker. Step three, paint shamrocks. Now I'm going to give myself some yellow paint and I'm going to mix it with my blue to make a green color. If you don't like your green color, you can choose a different yellow or a different blue to mix. I'm going to use the flat of my brush. Now notice how I'm taking the flat of my brush and I'm lining it up with my lines that I drew. Okay, this is going to make the lines on the outside of my shamrock very nice and straight, not jiggity jaggedy. Now I'm going to pull some of that color. You see how dark it is? I'm going to pull it to the center of the clover. Okay, this is because the white is my paper. I don't get white paint. The white is my paper and the more I spread the color, the lighter it's going to get. Or the more water I add to it. I can also dab up the color with a paper towel if I really want it to be light. Right, I'm going to use a bluer green to make half of my left leaf um, a sh kind of a more shadowy look color and then I'm just going to paint the other ones the same green color. See how it kind of splits it in half? It makes it look like there's a shadow in the leaf and there really is in real life. There are also veins on the leaves so I could add like a line if I want down the center of my heart and then it'll look like there's a vein. The rest of my clovers I'm just going to color in with my paint. 
And once you're done painting in all of your shamrocks, then you're on to the funnest part. Well, at least I think it's the funnest part. Step four, add splatters. Now you wanna get a lot of water on your brush and a lot of paint. And then you're gonna flick the paint on your paper. You kinda have to be a little aggressive with it. Don't be afraid to get a lot of water or a lot of paint and let it drip on there. You wanna have some that are just drip marks and then you wanna have splatter marks and you wanna have yellow and you wanna have blue and you wanna have green. And you know what? You could just decide if you want to, to just have blue or green or yellow. It doesn't matter. This is the fun and creative part. And you just be messy and, and let yourself splatter a lot. And then sign your work. And then you have your beautiful clovers. Aren't those nice? You can check out these other lessons. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And leave me a comment. What is your favorite art or craft to do for St. Patrick's Day? Hope you're enjoying being creative with me. See you next time.